and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a comparison of the Bennu Scepters and the Bennu Grand Scepters. And I'm not going to do a writing sample on this video because I have already reviewed these pens. So this purely is just a comparison video because I know a lot of people are asking, well, what's the difference between the Scepters and the Grand Scepters? So we'll just go from left to right so I can show you what each of these models are first. So this is a Banu Scepter and this is number one. And this is the Scepter number three and Scepter number six. Then we go on to what are the Grand Scepters. So this is Grand Scepter and this is number 12. This is the Grand Scepter number 11 and this is Grand Scepter number 9. So what are the main differences between these pens? So the normal scepters have this standard color resin here so it will go normally between two base colors so this one goes between a red and a blue so it starts off with a red and then goes into a blue here and then back out into a red. The same with this one this starts off with a purple, goes into kind of a pinky and then rosy pink or pinkish rosy red and then into a purple there. And then this one is really just a huge amount of glitter and it's silver all the way. But then obviously each of these have some gold glitter going on there in the bodies to accentuate that. Now the Grand Scepter's the main difference here is that these ends are phosphorus, so they glow in the dark. And I will show you a picture of this one glowing in the dark right now. And you can see that it really does glow. So just like if you remember back, uh, some of the old watches, the analog watches, would have glow in the dark uh, numerals on the watch face. These glow in the dark as well. Now, this one as well also glows in the dark. This is a different color. So it starts off with this sort of turquoisey color here, goes into a blue, and then back out to turquoise. So again, these ends glow in the dark, and I'll show you that here on this particular photo. And you can see it doesn't glow in the dark as much as the previous one does, but it does still glow quite a lot. And then the final Grand Scepter I have here is the number 9. So this was number 12, this was number 11, and this is number 9. And again, you see that these ends glow in the dark here. And this is the main difference on the Grand Scepters. And I'll show you this one glowing in the dark as well. So you can see that here. And again, it doesn't quite glow as much as the first one does but I think it still glows as much as the second one does. So these are really the main differences here between the regular Banu Scepters and the Banu Scepter Grand pens. Now the other thing here I'm going to show you is all of these uh, have international long cartridge converters they also take international uh, standard long cartridges as well and you get the converters in the box but the regular scepter has a number five size nib there and the grand scepter has a number six size nib now the sections are a little bit wider on the Grand, but you can see here in terms of length, the pen is, for all intents and purposes, identical in length. The only difference is, or the only two differences are the size of the nib and the section is slightly wider on the number six size Grand Scepter, just to support that slightly wider base of the nib there. Other than that they are identical in size. So if I show you that in the size of my hand that's actually a really nice size for me and 
if I show you this in the size of my hand again, it's it's the same size. It's the the only difference here. Let's see if I can balance this without dropping the pen. There you go. The only difference there is the size of the nib and a slightly wider, thicker section there. So really, that is the only difference really between the regular version of the scepter and the grande version of the scepter the other thing obviously is the material that's used so in the grand scepter these are glow in the dark these are phosphorus so you tend to get a lot less sort of glittery material on them because really the idea is that these will lighten up more in darkened rooms i have to say although i love the number six size nibs on these and the slightly wider section i do prefer these models a little bit more on the regular scepters i think most people think that the grand scepters being the grand will be longer and clearly they are not they are exactly the same size not only in terms of the length of the pen when capped like this but also the length of the pen when uncapped and i can show you this again here just so you can see it that these really are the same size the only difference there is the nib so if you're thinking about picking up a scepter or a grand scepter what you need to think about really is what is it that you prefer do you like the number six size nib or do you like the number five size nib if the size of the nib in terms of how big the nib is doesn't matter to you then it's down to the material do you want more of a sort of glittery sort of material or do you want more of this sort of material here more plainer material so that's really what it comes down to when looking at the banu scepters and the banu grand scepters so I hope that's helped you a little bit in making that decision if you are looking at potentially getting one or more of these pens. I'd like to also thank Derek from Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies for loaning me these pens for review. If you want to pick up a Bennu Scepter or Bennu Grand Scepter, then do go and check out Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. Uh, he's also on Instagram as well. Derek is a really nice guy and very accommodating. Uh, he's based in the UK. Now, I know a lot of people from abroad will, will buy from the UK as well. So you can buy direct either in the UK or internationally as well. So if you're after either one of these scepters or grand scepters, or if you actually want to pick up another Banu, do go and check out Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. So that's my comparison of the Banu Scepters and the Banu Grand Scepters. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.